Allah Wam. Verse one of all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kakadash, double answer the apostle, elders of great most of the world. Shallow up for the the elect out there. Um this is gonna be a quick lesson on uh, um being alone sometimes in the truth. And uh I got inspired by watching uh, the apostles, you know, live on highways and byways this week. So I just thought I'd do a quick video on it. because uh, that's something I'll be meditating on as well, you know, the spirit as well. Um, but yeah, I wanna open up with this scripture first. Uh, I've kind of prepared a lesson. Let's get the scriptures now. So But yeah, I'll read this first because although it's you know, it's good to have some some alone time to to, to kind of, you know, gather your thoughts and meditate and think and go through things that you gotta go through, you know. Um at the same time that doesn't mean to have that long wolf spirit and uh, you know, you ain't checking brothers or you ain't being around, you know, the brotherhood, you know. Uh, so I'll get this quick scripture before we get into that. This is Hebrews ten and twenty five. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is by exalting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So as we see the day approaching, you know, uh, you know, this this coming destruction is gonna fall upon, you know, um, the wicked of our people and the heathen. Okay. We need to actually do that more. You know, so this 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 lesson isn't about being a, a long wolf or like, you know, okay now you've seen this lesson now it's just well I can be a long wolf now and I have to check my brothers. That's not what it means. It means that sometimes when you're in this truth, you know, uh, you're gonna be alone sometimes. You know, like in the coming, in the coming, uh, you know, martial time of martial law, and uh, you know, we've got it to World War Three. So there's gonna come times where you might be out there on your own, you know, and the things that you're learning now are the things that are preparing you for that for that moment. Okay, not every rob is gonna, you know, it's really a blessing, like the elder said, to to. Um, to find another brother in that time, man. The Lord to give you, give you that. Most times you're gonna be alone. If you're in a cell, most times you're probably gonna be alone, man. And even if there's people there, if they ain't brothers, then they ain't one in your house shy with you. Then you're gonna be alone anyway. You know. So I'll, you know, I'll get the first scripture. So yeah, that's just, you know, like let's put that disclaimer. In case okay, so no one wants to get simple. This is a. Uh, see what scripture it is. Yeah. So this is a uh, Second Timothy chapter two, verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay, and um, that word uh, soldier, a soldier, you know, it goes hand in hand with the word solitude. Okay, which means basically. But let me get what that means. Solitude. Solitude, loneliness, and directly from Latin, solitudinum. Loneliness, a being alone, lonely place, desert, wilderness, from solace, alone. Okay. And um, everyone has to have that alone time sometimes, man. Even when, um, like Superman, for example. Okay, Superman, sometimes he's got to his fortress of solitude to have some time away from all that, you know, and, uh, you know, he's got all those superpowers and all that, all that responsibility, and sometimes we need, to, we need to have that in its truth, and a lot of the things that you're going to go through is going to really be to build you up, you know, you might go through it with brothers, you might go through it on your own, but it's to build you up on this truth, on this path, as a, as a, as a, as a man of the Lord, so it says, thou therefore endure hardness, so, you know, things that we're going to go through. As a good soldier of the Al Shai Mashiach, you got sometimes you gotta bear things on your own, you know. This is Lamentations chapter three, verse twenty six. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone. And keep of silence because he had borne it upon him, you know. And uh, hey, sometimes you've got to, 
you got to take the L's. Sometimes you got to be on your own. Sometimes you got to do certain things, and and the Lord's going to test you, you know. And um, you might have certain times you might have a desire, like you know, if you are always in the in the mind state where you're always thinking, oh, I've got to be around people. I've got to be around people, and that means uh, that you're going through a bump, you're going through a period of instability, you know. It's really um, a man of the Lord, like Apostle Tahar said, you know, really the man of the Lord is alone most of the times, you know. So that's how it's good, you know, that's how, that's the kind of mindset you got to be in because you can't always, in a sense, you can't always feed off other energy. Sometimes you've got to have your own energy, your own thing, your own connection with the most high because we're never really alone, you know. Yahweh Shai said that he's going to be with us, man, to the end, you know. So the, the Lord is with us, man, you know. And uh, the scriptures also say, and the juxtaposition to that, the scriptures will say, when two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of, you know, the spirit bounces, you get with brothers and so forth. So, like, again, I'll, I'll say it again. It is good to dwell, to dwell with brothers. That's something that we should always do. But at the same time, it is not. Everything has to be done in balance. You know, sometimes you've got to, got to go it alone, okay. And, you know, and um, it says he sit for long and keep silence because when you're not talking, what are you doing? You really you got the internal monologue going on. You're thinking, you know, you might start thinking of things, going through scriptures, you know, uh, lessons. What you're gonna do? What lesson you're gonna do? Or or what you've just learned? You know, meditating on that, digesting it. So it's important to have that time. Um, you know, really, it's, it's important to set aside that time, especially if you've got a busy schedule in the week, like. You know, um, speaking to one brother, like, you know, we've got busy schedules, so on and so forth, you know, because uh, of work or whatnot, there's responsibilities we've got, whatever. But sometimes it's good to just, you know, when you get that alone time, to make the most of it, you know. Um, right. Uh, This is Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So, you know, every man is in this for their own salvation, okay? And you feed the flock with what you've been given. Like, you might come into this truth with, you know, a family member, you know, like a brother or something, or you might come into this truth with your best friend, you know? But you can't rely on that man for your salvation. That's between you and Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai. So you gotta work on your own salvation with trembling and fear. So sometimes you're gonna have that alone time. You're gonna go for tribulation on your own. You know? It can't always be together buddy buddy. You know? You're a man of the Lord first before you're anything else. You know? Certain situations will happen where, hey, you know, you might have been uh, spending a lot of time around that, around that brother that you're close with and you might be teaching in the same camp. And suddenly the, the camp split. You know, now you got they're doing their thing, you're doing your own thing. And that's how it is, man. That's because hey, that's that's a trial that's a trial of the faith. That's a trial of the faith that, you know, to to, to prove to show that through the spirit, you know, you ain't you know, trying to rely on another man for your salvation. You're relying on your how much and how shy, man. You know, doing what you gotta keep doing. You know, link up here and there and that's what it is. I'm just really just hitting these points home, man. Because, um, just point by point, man. Oh, wait. Just my hand section, just my hand section. The Apocrypha. In fact, I've got the Apocrypha right here, man. You know, let's read out of the book. This is, uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 7, verses. I'll read a bit up. I'll read from 6. There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a, a broad field and is full of all good things to about the kingdom, right? The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left hand a deep water. And that's the trials and tribulations that, you know, that we can, that we can, that we're going to go through. But also that's a distraction. You don't want to fall into that. You don't want to fall off. You, want, you don't want to be going off. You know, you want to stick to the path and be in your house shy. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could 
but one man go there at once. So this thing is a thing of you know you're you're going through that path one by one, man. Everyone's going at their own pace. Everyone's going at their own way. You know, getting fed, and feeding, and that's what that's what this is, man. It's like a, it's a dangerous path. It's like imagine you have a shepherd might be leading these goats or he's a sheep through a dangerous path, man. Only one sheep can go at a time, you know. And that's what's that's what's happening in this truth, man. So sometimes it's okay to be on your own. You're gonna go through certain tribulations, so you gotta get into that mindset, basically, of being a soldier for Yahweh Shai, which is sometimes you're gonna have to be on your own. You gotta med meditate on that, you know. And especially in this in this time to come, and martial law, a lot of the time you're gonna be on your own, man. You know, and you're gonna go through the trials and the tribulations, the things that you're gonna go through, you know, on your own. And and you know, you just gotta make sure that you pray to the Lord, man. And the Lord guides you, man. You, know, you hope you're the elect and that you're saved, man. You know, so anyway, you know, I hope that's been edified. Just a quick inspiration from the apostles. I just wanted to do this video. And with that, uh, all praise to you. I'm watching me. I'm shouting. I'm watching. I'm coming. I'm watching. 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 I'm